when we do practice asanas and pranayams is wonderful but if you remain disturbed at mental level not centered within yourself then asanas and pranayamas will not yield much yoga as a practice is a very old history especially raj yoga that started almost 72 generations before raja dashrath raj yoga is considered to be as the kingly thing amongst all yogas that's why raja yoga and what is the raja in a human life it's the mind it rules the human life so regulating this mind regulating our life in such a way that as an individual one flourishes and as individual flourishes each member in the family flourishes community flourishes nation flourishes and as a result if everyone on this planet did practice then there is a pause of peace and prosperity age old dream of indian tradition civilization but that we have to really understand what yoga means yad jyoti iti yoga one that joins one that unites and what is it that we are trying to unite my lower consciousness with higher consciousness my individual self with cosmic self similarly the purpose of religion is exactly the same religion religion is a word from legare to join and religare means to rejoin same purpose when we do practice asanas and pranayams is wonderful but if you remain disturbed at mental level not centered within yourself then asanas and pranayamas will not yield much while remaining meditative if we practice pranayamas in a meditative state while remaining in meditative state if we can do asanas it fulfills many requirements of a bhakta of a devotee for example in sufi tradition in islam as well as in our bhakti traditions these are parallel lines where zikra and fikra prem and restlessness towards god they're born automatically zikra and fikra constant remembrance is an outcome of a meditative state right after meditation when we enter into the world doing all kinds of things it easily get destroyed and mutated to our disadvantage but if we remain meditative post meditation in all our actions then it becomes very effective mm-hmm.